Yes, sir. My name is Joe Ledesma, and I'm 82 years old, and I attribute some of my longe longevity to the fact that I attended Bart Reed's comic strip here since 1986. I started probably back around 1963, 64. I remember in, in San Francisco in 1966, I went to see uh, Lenny Bruce. At the time, comedy was, was really in, in the lower stages. He, later, he was arrested for saying the word fuck and, and thrown in jail, actually. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to see a lot of the notables. Did you see George Carlin? Yes, I have. Richard Pryor? Yes, definitely. Richard, Richard Pryor when he was clean and when he wasn't clean. But I think I owe some of my longevity to uh, comedy. Uh, Bart Reed opened up the comic strip here in El Paso in 1986. And I've tried to be here once a week. This week I came twice because Mr. Orta is an exceptional comedian. He can stick it in, but he can't like actual thrust, so he's just like. <laughs> and his crew that he had with him were really notable, as far as I'm concerned. But Mr. Orta, all he needs is some big guy to, to, to give him recognition, and he'll be on television. He, he'll have his own shows. He's super funny, especially if you happen to be Hispanic. We opened up in 1986, kind of towards the end of the original comedy boom of the 80s. So uh, we've been here 33 plus years right now, and probably hosted everybody you can imagine from from uh, all the big ones: Jim Carrey, Ellen DeGeneres, Tim Allen, uh, Paul Rodriguez, all the way down. What do you think of Raymond Orta? Uh, Raymond's a powerhouse, man. I, at, at first, you know, when I first met him, I didn't really know that much about him, but. First time I saw him on stage, I was like, this guy's a killer. <laughs> All that's left is this dude crying on stage, sounding like Tom Hanks when he lost Wilson on Castaway. He's one of those guys that even now I've seen him a bunch of times, but he still makes me laugh every time, so. Raymond's a, he's a, he's a star waiting to happen, I think. <laughs>